This is the staking and layout portion of the Structures Inspection Level 1 class. First, this class is just guidance. See the Construction Guidance Manual located on the Division of Construction's website for more detailed information on surveying on your project. This portion of the guidance manual is aimed at the section engineer and their crew. It is not a surveying manual, but just covers the basic requirements for KYTC projects in general, not just bridge projects. They go over field books, checking plans, control points, benchmarks, check level, right away, temporary easements, encroachments, and a whole lot more. But field books is one of my biggest things. People need to make sure they're keeping field books. Uh, they're great and handy to have. You can keep them in your back pocket, but all your information for your bridge can be stored in there and then transferred to your daily work reports or any other reports you must be doing. Uh, foundation, elevations, pile links, all that can easily be recorded in a field book. Section 201 in this Kentucky uh, 2019 spec book covers staking. Uh, this is generally a pay item. When it is a pay item, KYTC is responsible for providing control points and benchmarks. And then as inspection, we're taking before and after check stations if you have the equipment available. But like I said, when it is a pay item, it is a contractor's responsibility. They are required as per the spec to stake all structures, center line of the structure, clearing lines, right of way lines, and have slope and grade stakes. This must be supervised by a PE or a licensed land surveyor. The contractor is required to provide all electronic data files to the cabinet. But let me kind of add a pause here. If you have a contractor refusing to give you grade stakes, notify your engineer immediately. We cannot adequately inspect a job without stakes. Even if a contractor has GPS and they says they're doing everything with GPS, that's great, they're allowed to do that, but we may not have a GPS unit and we can't be checking if we don't have stakes. So if you have a contractor refusing to give you stakes, notify your engineer immediately and we will get that resolved. But remember, nothing will ever replace looking over the ground, pulling a tape, or dropping a plumb bob. Most mistakes could have easily been caught if someone had simply checked. A 25 foot tape measure is your best friend on a bridge job. You can be able to check, is this wing wide enough? Is it long enough? Is it deep enough? Is this steel on the correct spacing? Do I have my right offset for this and that? Use a tape measure, have it clipped on your hip at all times and just start checking things. The more you measure, the more the contractor is gonna see that you care as an inspector and take more effort in getting it done right to begin with. Geodetic survey markers, if you have these on an existing bridge that's being demolished, notify the Division of Construction. We need to get a record of these because we need to get more put back out. Uh, we will work with Central Office Survey to make sure that it is done correctly. Joint skew. This is a biggie. We would like to build all bridges straight, design all bridges straight, but we can't go and realign every creek. We can't realign railroads or county roads or whatever else we may be building the bridge over. Therefore, we have to skew a bridge. A skewed bridge is just, if it was straight, the bridge would be built along this line right here. But due to this situation, we'll say there's a railroad running right through here on a 15 degree angle. We have to skew the bridge on a 15 degree angle. So skew is measured off of a line perpendicular to center line. So this is center line of the bridge. We draw a line perpendicular to that center line and then we draw measure our skew off of that perpendicular line so if it's a 15 degree skew left you look left go up draw over 15 degrees again the key to remember is joint skew is measured off of a line perpendicular to center line check your quantities this is a good time before the job starts or right in the verse beginning of the job. Get out your plans and your proposal and check things. None of us are perfect. Our designers are not perfect. Uh, check their work. Make sure you've got the right amount of concrete, the right amount of steel, the right amount of couplers, pile points, pile length, everything. Do a quick check. You can do a check. Do I have the right length of pile based on where your rock line is and what your pile cutoff is. 
If you have pile cut off and you know anticipated rock line, you can estimate how much pile is going to be required at each indent. So therefore you can check that quantity before they ever start driving pile. This is not a requirement, but it's just a good idea of something to do to catch things before they ever happen. Different submittals. There's a lot of submittals that need to get turned in on a bridge job. Just check your specification. Check with your engineer. Everything needs to get turned in through the section office first. Look in pile reports, false work, pachometer, revised pouring sequence, coffer dam, jacking, change in foundation elevation, any false work, structural drawings, revisions, and stuff. These have got to get turned in in a timely manner. If you're not sure if your needs submittal needs to be turned in, check with your engineer or just ask the contractor for it and they'll tell you whether or not it's going to be needed. But also, we're not in the habit of asking for submittals. These need to get turned in and they need to get recorded. We will go through each of these in later sections, but they're just kind of mentioned here to give you an idea of different things that need to be turned in. If you get plan errors, they're going to happen. Try to resolve it at the lowest level possible. Only the engineer can change the plans. Let me specify that. And as an inspector, you are not allowed to change any contractual document. Only the engineer can do that, and it must be done via a change order. So if you find an error, don't call the designer. Do call the section office and your engineer first, and then try to figure out how you can correct it. That is it for staking and layout. Uh, I thank you for your time. I hope this was beneficial.